Yeah. So I think the actual accurate metaphor for the Ivy League schools, the whole Ivy thing, was this encounter with demons where I can't even move. And uh, I think I was hearing a lot about myself being some single digit. This is just what I've been hearing now in, in theory. A lot of this is theory, not everything. About the, my, my own rank position. But, um... Even lately, I heard, I think from what I learned about the Ivy League schools, they only metaphor single digits. Single digits, and it's like eight, per, uh, eight schools. Eight schools, eight, eight, uh, top 8% to top 1%. So Harvard being 1%. And then uh, Harvard being 1%. Yale being 2%. Yale being 2%, and then Dartmouth being like 5%, 4%, and maybe Princeton being either 6%, 7%, or maybe maybe even like 3%, but I don't, I don't think it's 3%. I think it's more like a, I think it's more like a, more like a 6%, 7%, maybe. And also, um, yeah, Brown and, and Columbia being like a 8%, 9%, 7%. And also, that was the thing about Ivy League schools. I think it metaphors the top single digits. And then so Dartmouth, uh, since it's the, the, the emblem is D, a D, so it's like the fourth letter of the alphabet. And the fourth the fourth chakra is green, so it's D4. And that's not a coincidence there. And uh, the heart chakra in the middle. And, uh, and yeah, that's what I was hearing also. And there's these two mixtapes. Had a Reventon on the cover, and it was always on the second mixtape. There was a Reventon, or actually it was, I mean, it was something like this where it was, uh, something that they were saying about me, like I was a single digit, like top 5%. I don't, I don't always believe this, but I always was seeing other proof, stuff that was saying this, and uh, the Mr. Game and Watch thing was, was going on in my house, I think, maybe, and that's what it was about, where I was playing games, and a lot of things was with the, the people under control of Fallen Angels were in the game, and sometimes if they lost too bad, uh, sometimes the Fallen Angels would take them on a boat, on some plane and they'd go skydiving and then they'd come back and pretty much it was only if you like lost the game or something like that was happening where it was more entertaining sometimes you had to sleep like with bugs or something or something was going on like this where it was more entertaining like that and it made protective that I was involved because I was playing the game and I didn't I wouldn't know anything I would I didn't know anything about that obviously but it was more like that but uh even just stuff like that and yeah like so Yale would be two percent or three percent Harvard would be one percent And then Dartmouth is like four, four percent, five percent. Same with the Green Ranger from Turbo. And yeah, there's just a little thing of the Green Ranger in like a cape, just like. Is that the thing with Phantom? Of, that's the thing with Phantom of the Opera and uh, Lance with capes. Also like Superman. Capes. And then um. That was also the thing about Mr. Game and Watch being only black. It was like O B. It was about it was about the letters O and B, like uh, Bo and O B. And I was thinking about Obi Wan, but it was O B. And uh, and because the fifteenth letter of the alphabet is fifteen is O. The fifteenth the fifteenth letter letter of the alphabet is O. And the second letter is B. So the, so the, those letters translate to the. To the, those those letters translate translate. Translate to the numbers fifteen and two, and then so the fifteen the numbers fifteen and two have the numbers one two and five in it, and that that was the thing. It was about one two five. When you say the word one to five, uh, one to five, it's like the it's like top it's like top one percent to five percent. So one to five, that's what they metaphor for Mr. Game and Watch, and that was the thing. That was a lot of thing like the, with the eighty eight thing, but it was like top five percent. And after he was a six percent, he's like not as happy. He lost something again, I guess, in the ranks. Before when I was hearing, um, even like the Scream movies mean a lot to me also now. Even the the movie The Girl Next Door. Or actually it was, uh. Yeah, I was learning some of my neighbors, uh. Were under control of Fallen Angels. And it was like that where it was, uh. And there was like some girls that were good looking that lived down my street. But I knew some of them were, uh. Under control, under control of Fallen Angels. And that's why the guy from The Girl Next Door was in Scream 3, or Scream 2. He was in the movie Scream 2 as the killer. They were metaphoring because of the movie The Girl Next Door. 
And they were talking about me, I'm, me, I'm pretty sure, being at 3% possibly. That's what they were saying about me a bit. They're like 3%, 2%. Is what they were saying maybe, but I, I didn't hear that well. I don't actually have proof of this. But I was always, uh, and I was thinking about dart mouth. Like I said, these spirits were making like bad smells. Going in my mouth, making me taste some bad smell, taste thing. And it was like that about like stuff like that, or demons, this encounter that they're in, I, th that they're in, I think. Possibly, but it was like this where it was, uh. And that was the thing about Malcolm in the middle. Uh, if you see Stevie, his friend, was in a wheelchair, but they were metaphoring Steve Celine. Steve Celine, kind of partly. And the name Stephanie, because sometimes you picture a good looking girl named Stephanie, but it was like, even that was uh, Steve Celine. But they were also metaphoring Stevie Wonder, like, because uh, sometimes some of the 1%, special 1% at the top, are so cool. That it's like scary. That it's like it leaves you like it's like the eighth wonder of the world. Some of those kids are so cool. Uh, just just by like nat just by just naturally like no one tells them to be cool to be cool. But like higher gods gave them a reward by making them that cool for a while. So it's like that where they're just rewarded like that. But it was like that where it was like a it was like a wonder of the world. And it was always like how's he that cool? And it was like that where some of the one percent were that cool. So I was thinking about Stevie Wonder and, and at three percent Malcolm in the middle. I think they were talking about me me again. And then it was uh. And that was the thing, like a 2% or a 3% because it can always beat a 1% in like video games and sports. So that was a joke. And that was a joke also about a 2% and 3%. Like if that was a 2% and a 3% in the middle, those 1% were like in a wheelchair and they couldn't breathe anymore because he could always beat them so bad. Or not, he couldn't beat them so bad in the video game, but he like beats them enough to where he was winning a lot against him in video games. So it was like that where he was like, it was, like if they were like in a fight, sometimes that's a joke. Like they were pretty much evenly matched. So it wasn't even like that. Like that, but that was the thing about Stevie Wonder. That was the thing about that, like Dartmouth. That's where I see four percent, three percent. Even if, even you'll see that that motto of there's a voice crying out in the wilderness, and you'll see Hanover Park, Illinois, which is right by. I always go through Hanover Park to go to Whole Foods. And uh, that was the other thing about that. That's what I learned about the Ivy League schools. Ivy Leagues were only single digit, single digits. But uh, yeah, that was the thing about Ivy League. I guess. And that was their motto at Ivy League. It's a voice crying out in the wilderness. 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 And I was talking about me because a, uh, a lot of people from the war and stuff were around here. So they don't know what's going on. A lot of fallen angels were around uh, switching out at stores when I go there. So I can't get people to heaven. Uh, so they stop people from going to heaven like that and stop people from praying. They can see the future so they know where I'm coming, when I'm coming. So it's not. And like I said, I'll be, uh, I'll be posting other stuff later. But it was... Uh, I still can't even move. It's almost back. All the fat in my body, but I need extra prayers. Like I said, we'll do a lot. It, it does take. I just noticed some stuff happening too. After like a good uh, 20, 20, 30 prayers, my mom praying 20, 30 prayers for these angels in my body. Angels, angels in my body, and some stuff started to change. I saw, but I saw it was doing something from what I saw pretty well. But that was the thing about Dartmouth. That was another thing I see with Dart Dartmouth now. I was like four percent, three, five percent. I see like Adam Park, that that Power Rangers, and there's this Power Rangers, Power Rangers episode. Where Adam Park was in a cape and they were like metaphoring like a five percent like his lance. Also, uh, I learned the Gyarados Pokemon card was the colors neon green and blue. And uh, if you rearrange the first let the first letters of each of those words with neon green and blue, it's the it, it spells the word bang b a n g. They're metaphoring something about Gyarados like that, and uh, that's where I learned like a Celebi was metaphoring a one percent. I think uh, Ho Ho was metaphoring two percent. Lugia was metaphoring a 3%, and then like an unknown, and a Porygon 2 was metaphoring a 4%, 5%, and a Wobbuffet was still metaphoring like a 6%, 5%, I think. Even says like 311 on there, I think it's, I think it did. Or might have said 4-3, yeah, 4-3 I thought it said. 4-3 I thought it said, that was what it was metaphoring, like something like that. And that's what the Wobbuffet was about, um. Yeah.